I always think that this, like some note is out of tune on the first chord in this song, <laughs> but it's actually just the chord. <laughs> it's my chord choice. Sure. That is. Um, I normally record in like my pajamas, but there's visual today. You can do that too. People are seeing me. <laughs> today we've got Trav Collins, who's one of my favourite South Australian performers. He performs so much, I feel like I run into him all the time, and that's great. His live presence is really, really powerful as well. Yeah, this is an artist that's, um, that's on the way up, and more and more people are finding out about him. We're at Palomino Sound Recorders in my Ponga, and we're recording Lucid Sight today, a live version. It's been a little while coming, um, but the shit is together, and we are here. I, I don't know about that, looking at this. <laughs> we can do that again if you want. If you see Trav turn up at a gig with his road cases, it's quite an amazing thing just to watch that unfold as he takes the lids off. He's really got that sound dialed in, which all kind of rolls into the performance as well. I think this is my other favourite thing about this board, is this. Oh yeah, I was going to... That's great. I don't know great. if I want to use that, because the stand just chills oh, under no. me. Oh no! Yeah, so I, I'm all about space saving. This is just... <laughs> um, total life The dig actually goes out of there as well. Okay. Because like, this is such a heavy bass, I don't like carrying around like... Yeah, of course. ...extra weight. Because this is all from busking, like you yeah. got to carry everything. Totally. Um, so we can use that if you want. Call me old fashioned, but I have a lot of respect for the musicians that are out there working the live gigs, touring, they're in the van, playing to different audiences, shaping their craft and their song live so much. And by the time they come here for the studio, like Trav's doing today, they're really committed to that. Yeah, if you hold this down, it's like a shimmer but it spins the reverb around on itself. Oh wow. So it swells. Gosh. So when, if I sing like a, usually I just sing it for long tones. Yeah. I use it for long tones when I'm singing and it'll, yeah, it'll sound like this big ethereal note. Incredible. But I don't really have to like full out sing that long note. It just sounds big with that. Yeah, so yeah. It's kind of its own sound in a way. Incredible. Um, I do it a little bit in this song. Okay. It was a very COVID dark place and I was just trying to think like, man, I'm just in this headspace of rubbish, like needed needed pop out, need to pop out of that. And yeah, this song kind of was a little tool to get out of that and realise what who I am and what I'm actually doing is fine and I'm okay. So yeah, it's um yeah, so it's a song about clarity and how I think you need something to compare to. Like, for example, you need a shitty moment to understand a good one, is what I usually say at a gig. This is kind of the last song I wrote over COVID, and it felt like a little step out of that world back into, yeah, gigging again and, and playing and... All right, let's try again. Even though Trav isn't here with a band today, there's still an element of workshopping that we'll be doing here today. And having known Trav for a little while, and him knowing that I'm a songwriter and a performer myself, our relationship is going to be quite vital today as far as me being that sounding board for him as well. So stepping aside from the engineer role slightly at times to be able to kind of encourage and support him as far as his performance goes, things with dynamics in his performance that he should sort of push or pull back on so that's where it's really important with my role to be able to kind of support him and walk along that road with him. Sounds much better for me. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Just too much gain or something. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's get, um, I've always, I just put a different compressor on, um, on your vocal DI out as well. Yeah, so that's taming that a bit. Do you think just, just keep it clean and live and probably no overdubs? I did have overdub yeah. ideas. I reckon just I think keep it clean. raw and what it is. like. Yeah, just because it really shows your performance. Mm. Like, sonically, it's really, so many interesting things happening that, um, yeah. It doesn't need it. It doesn't Save need it. Save that for the other cut. Like, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep totally. it real. <laughs> yeah, keep it real. Longer solo. Or two, not one solo. To be honest, I think, yeah, I like the idea of the outro solo. Okay. Yeah. So, in, yeah, so, why would I trust my mind and then... Yeah. Just, and fade it out almost. I think that'd be without nice. Without fading it out. Because I hate to be, fade It outs. doesn't feel like a, it doesn't like, feel mm. like a seven minute song. No, nah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's, it's surprising, like, oh. isn't it? Yeah. It's like a slowed down three minute yeah, thing it's, somehow. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. the three minute 30 formula. But yeah, yeah. You've managed to kind of <laughs> keep us on the journey for the whole seven minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't. Outro solo. I think outro solo. I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be really nice. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. Mm -mm. Cool. Trav. That was all right. That was pretty good. Yeah, I didn't feel many mistakes. No, no, I didn't really, I didn't pick up on any mistakes. Um, there were some things, I really liked the solo in that. That take, the solo was really... Yeah? Yeah, there's just something... Um, Actually, there was one moment where it was meant to be... Um, really soft on that. Oh, like, okay. But I went, like it just came in like. Yeah, I kind of liked that. I think, oh, okay. I think oh, that man, was actually, sound. sorry, I think that was the thing I was going to point out that I liked. <laughs> there was just something about the way that it, um, the way that it kind of, you know, worked, triggered the reverb harder. Like, yeah, okay. was something, there's something really nice about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do you think I'm, hold, I'm holding the shimmer quite a lot? Is it too much or is it? I don't think it's too much. I mean, it's just how I always do it. So. Yeah. No, I think it's it's good. Just felt like it was a bit more explorative, I guess, yeah. in a sense. And um, yeah, it, it really it only adds to this song. Like, it's yeah. Great. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that was really nice. It's pretty long that one, I think. Yeah, that was a long one. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Uh, nine minutes. Oh fuck. That's a whopper. <laughs> um, the one before was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're just different. I can't fault either. I know, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. they're just different. You up for one more? I'm up for one more. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to have fun now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. The 
sun won't shine. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. When the fire burns bright after lightning strikes. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. Tend to lose my lucid sight. I have burns bright after lightning strike. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight. That's when I tend to lose my lucid sight.
That's the best one. Really? Yep. All I right. just feel like everything, yeah, it was all bit... the sounds married together really well. Like, it was a bit tighter. Like the, the last couple of takes, there were kind of like, there were a few bits where like, you know, maybe the foot pedal hit a bit hard too early yeah. and things swelled a bit too quickly. Yeah, um, okay. Whereas this one just, it was like all the dynamics were... Cool. Yeah. Oh, well that's good. Great as long man. as it's sounding good in there. It sounds amazing in here. Really good. Should we go for a take? We haven't spoken about the nails yet. Oh, <laughs> good set of nails. I do them actually. That's If they're a two meter job, you're about two metres away. These probably look fine from there. Um, <laughs> oh, I reckon I've only taken them off for two weeks out of five years. Um, so I forget that they're on. And for everyday life, they suck. <laughs> but yeah, for playing, it's just, I can't go back. Um, I've tried finger picks and other things. Nothing stays on. And when you're going quick enough and long enough and you, yeah, you just, so yeah. Um, they're just acrylic. They're very thick. They're a lot thicker than what you'd normally get for like a fashion nail. But <laughs> I get a tonal benefit from using the hard shellac. And having them slightly thicker is better than thinner because you get a warmer tone off the string. It's like, it, I mean, these are my picks, right? So thicker and thinner picks is such a big thing that changes the tone. So yeah, coming back to <laughs> not what they look like, but the product you use can really change the sound. Um, get more of a cleaner then you get like the slightest little scratch on there sometimes but yeah <laughs> out of context I get lots of questions and um, I make up a different story every time